I inherited a $500,000 house from my dead grandpa. And now a stranger who claims he's my bastard uncle demands his cut. Interesting. Uh, I, I didn't see you at the family barbecue. Yeah. Uncle. Where uh, were you all those years, uncle? What about what about Lake Tahoe family reunion? I don't I don't recall seeing your face there. Yeah, and also your face looks a lot different than my face, so I'm not even sure we're related. What's uh, going on? Let's go. Get out of here. Get out of here. You bastard. <laughs> you dirty old bastard. All right. I, 25 male, am having a clash of morals and obligations and would like an outside perspective. And where does one go for outside perspectives, John? Ooh, only the two people with the best perspectives of anyone that's ever lived. Yeah, we're the arbiters of justice. You want your story read, received, delivered, and judged? Uh, then go over to the judges. But if you, I, yeah, <laughs> but if you want two terrible yet hilarious takes that make no sense, that's us. We're your we boys. Go. Let us do the Amber Heard trial. There we go. We'll we'll deal justice, justice for Johnny. What color was the dookie on the bed? The real question. Yeah, we're asking the real questions that the people want to know. Was it green? Was it brown? Was it a smiling? Was it a frown? We'll find out. We'll find out. On next episode of OKOP. Uh, what's it? Uh, OKOP Court. Special Victims. Special Victims. <laughs> 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 we would do great on a court show. Yeah. That would be fun. Well, well, we, you, know, you know how like Rick and Morty did the... Um, uh, like they read like a full court transcript. You remember that? Do you ever see that? I see. I watched a lot of episodes, but I never for, I never remember. What so they did it. like a while ago. They literally took word for word a court case in Missouri and then just animated it with like Rick and Morty characters. And it was that's impressive. Hilarious. Was that an actual episode in this in like the no, series? It was just they it was released like it on YouTube. Side. Yeah, and it was uh, so 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 funny and like ridiculous. That's, we oh, should yeah. read some like crazy courtroom drama. I mean, Judge Judy, dude. I mean, that's Judge Judy. That's her whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, when I was 13, my parents died. Sad. And I was raised by my paternal grandparents. It was the easiest choice since they lived in the same area when my parents were alive and visited them frequently. I am my grandparents' only grandchild, as my aunt, 43 female, is child-free. So when they passed on, they left me their house. So he got, pretty big he got a pretty big inheritance. Yeah, he's getting them big bucks. The current total value of the house is around 500,000 smackaroons. Ooh, half a million. Half a million to bank. Well, not in the bank, but in a house. In a house. In a house. In a house. <gasps> And that's lowballing the estimate, and it's fully paid off. So I basically have a really good head start in life, although I could never imagine selling it. Uh, you finance it, you know. Do some yeah, you can take out, you take out a loan. John, John knows. I uh, see. John knows about loans. I we live off loans, baby. We, that's you know, how we how, do it. How do you think this show started? Yeah, it was a payday loan. That's right. I'm I'm my thir thirty percent not high enough. No, I want fifty percent. Fifty percent in my kneecaps. That's what Yeah, I need to owe you a body part for this loan to, to go they through. They cut our ears off. Yeah. To fund this show. Uh, um recently I was approached by a strange man, thirty eight male, named John. May all Johns sus. <laughs> He had a beard, long blonde hair, definitely uses a few shampoos and conditioners. That's right. And uh, aged, aged 13 years in this sighting. <laughs> he doesn't look like John. Um, 38 male, John, claiming to be my grandfather's son and would like a DNA test to verify it. This is like this is like uh like when uh women like go up to rappers like yo give me a give me a DNA test yeah bro I have Except your baby it's your own uncle <laughs> yeah. or potentially your own uncle also it's like it's like so convenient that this guy shows up right after they died it's like okay now that there's money involved let's uh, rekindle that relationship I had with my family it's funny how when we were cleaning grandpa's dookies out of his underwear you were nowhere to be found uh, where were you with the dookie cleaning. Nowhere. 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 Probably making dookies on Amber Heard's bed. That's right. Seems like you share some similarities. Call back. Call back. <laughs> okay. Um, 
I was shocked and didn't believe him, which I, dude, I totally understand. Yeah. Like this guy comes out of the woodworks and is like, I am your long lost bastard uncle. I am your uncle. I am your uncle. Uh, <laughs> no. Ah, ah. All right. Uh, I told him to F off because that would mean that my grandfather cheated on my grandmother. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't here for that. Not grandpa. Yeah. Are you going to sully your, your, your grand, your dead grandpa's family name, which is your family name? I don't think so. He also contacted my aunt and she actually recognized him as the neighbor's kid who moved away years ago. Yo. The neighbor's kid. The neighbor's kid. So it's like, why would the neighbor take you in? Yeah. What incentive do they have? This is, I'm, I'm suspicious. I'm I don't suspicious. know. Well, well now, now I'm suspicious of Gramps because it's like, you know, but the neighbor's the wife neighbors, is only so far away. He would have, like, why would a neighbor just take in a random, like, a fair child? Well, what if the... Oh, the neighbors, he had it with the neighbors. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Sorry. He slept with his neighbor's Didn't wife. think about that part. Yeah, yeah. And then she just carried it as okay. her own. Here we go. Yep. Now we're cooking with gas. All right. This is some juice. Okay. We, got right. some we got some juice, juice to squeeze from this story. It's, it's heating up. We're about to boil. Apparently, my grandparents were friends with his parents. But then one day, there was this huge fight, and the couple just moved away mysteriously. John stated that his mom had an affair with my grandfather, and when the husband found out, he divorced his mom, and they were forced to sell the house. John said that his mom's husband wanted nothing to do with him since he wasn't sure if he was a father and then abandoned him, which is rough, bro. If this is true, I, that's terrible. <laughs> that's awful, man. It's like, like, you know, all these years later, this dude's like, dude, I just want to like what if it's just like he he he's on this quest to find out who his real dad is eventually finds out that it's op's grandfather finally like i found my dad now i can reconnect with them and then it's like oh like he's, he's dead dead and then he's like i've had so much like effed up stuff just give me a cut you know give me a cut okay all right it's it's getting interesting he's he's, he's uh racking up some points uh Years later, John tracked him down, and after a DNA test, was confirmed that he wasn't the father. So his father is no longer his father, so it must be his neighbor, which is OP's grandpa. Was he 100% confirmed that he was that? I don't know. I don't think so. The Lizzo quote. <laughs> Find out. <laughs> be, DNA test. I don't know the lyrics. Ha. Okay. Um, John's mom confessed that the only other possible candidate was my grandfather. Dun, dun, dun. John's mom insisted her ex was the father for years. And honestly, like, sure, a DNA test is one thing, but just do your bare minimum research. Like, do a public data check, right? You could cross-reference everything that this random guy says if he just literally just looked up through public data. Just literally, if he literally just like looked up through public data check, like, okay, let me see who this guy is. Let me see if he checks out, uh, you know, what he said, like who he says he was. Yeah, you get it instantly. You can get their criminal record if they have the right name, age, like everything you need to know. It has it. Yeah. So check out our link in bio to do your own background checks on those pesky little uncles that come in taking your inheritance or anything or anyone who's a little bit sketchy. My aunt lives in another country, so John has been asking me to do a DNA test so they can finally know who his real father is for sure, like with 100% certainty. I was willing to do it until my girlfriend, 26 female, brought up the issue of ownership of the house. I did a quick check, and if the DNA test proves that John is indeed my grandfather's son, he might be able to sue for his share of the estate. Now we see. Now we see the dollars and cents and it making sense. I would be forced to sell my home because there's no way I could even afford even a third of the share if John wanted it. Right? Because like he can't buy him out of the right. house. And now and now they all have to make the decisions yeah. together, yeah. I guess. Yeah. It gets Dang. really messy. I contacted John and said that I would be more than willing to do a DNA test, but only under one condition you know what that condition is one one measly little condition um be my best friend 
Nope. Stop. Sign away any rights or claims to the house if he's proven to be my grandfather's son via paperwork that my lawyers will draw up. Just one teensy weensy, you know. Yeah, thing. just a little teensy weensy yeah. ask. I didn't hear from John for a few days, but then got an angry call from a woman claiming to be his wife who called me greedy and selfish. <laughs> That I couldn't possibly know that the pa- that I couldn't possibly know the pain of not knowing who my father is, and that my grandfather owes John. Bro, did OP's parents died? <laughs> Dude, come on, he probably the OP probably knows the pain of not having a father. And I would fee- I would I would hear her out if this didn't happen during the uh, estate. Yeah, like right after right the after grandpa he dies. dies. This should have been like, like. Wouldn't you have known your whole life? Like, wouldn't you reach out like when you're like early adulthood? Yeah, it's just like very convenient that it happens right when all this money happens. Super convenient. Yeah. But also like if I found out that I was entitled to like half a million, you know, I'm going to see if that's I'm gonna, my dad. I'm going to put my piece in and see Bro, what happens. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to I'm about to like go through the bathroom tissue paper, pick up some fecal matter. From my my boy that I might be related to is that is that a DNA test? I don't know. Can you, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can, you can get some DNA I, I from don't know. poop. Probably, I've yeah. got like a saliva or something. Yeah, that might be harder. Or I guess <laughs> did you ever see um in uh, Black Mirror they like he takes he takes uh the lo- lollipops and gets their saliva. Oh, that's and smart. That's how he makes like clones of people. Anyway, um, my grandfather owes John a cut of his estate. Hmm. All right. I hung up on her and contacted a lawyer. And unless John can present enough edit, and unless John can present enough evidence to create doubt, he doesn't have much of a case, especially since the possible father is already deceased. But if he does get a DNA test, yeah, he could prove it though. He could. Hmm. So, bro, like you better you gotta make make sure. I don't know. That, that sounds dicey around. for OP. It sounds yeah. dicey. Yeah, I mean, like, like what if he like sifts through the garbage or something? I'd, I'd be worried if I was OP. I'd be worried. Well, I'm content with never giving John what he wants until he waives his rights. And my aunt won't either. His wife has begun stalking me on social media and putting me on blast. So am I the a-hole? Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. If I'm OP, I'm, I'm kind of I'm sweating. because So basically it all hinges upon if... Wait, and, and they can't legally force, force them to do... Force OP to do a DNA test? Yeah. No, but the thing I'm like, you know, like, does this long lost brother or uncle like deserve that money? I think I think if he came back in the family's life again, like the timing is just way too suspicious. Like if he came when he was like, you know, 24 and he's like, hey, like when I, you know, made it as an adult, I wanted to reach out to my my family and like, you know, make amends. That would make sense. But like, I feel like 30, I feel like he would do it before 38, like pretty late 30, in the 38 game 38 and it's right after the grandpa died like dude also wow. like are we even convinced that this guy is actually legitimately related oh. it could just be some random dude like I, like i i'm almost imagining like there's i can imagine that there's some scam out there where like they go through the obituaries and like okay like let's go to this person today and be like hey i'm your long lost blah 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 um let me get a dna test and then you fudge the dna test Wow, that's got to be massively illegal, but also very genius. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't. I mean, it would be, it would be. You would have to get like maybe like his sister's DNA, and then like yeah. somehow get that in his their own DNA. Yeah, but it, it would be tough. But like, you probably it's probably doable. Probably doable. Don't get any ideas. New new OKOP business yeah. business model. <laughs> Don and I catch us at some funerals. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, I I I feel like I honestly think that the. Even if, even if he wasn't in his, like, even if he wasn't in the family's life, I still feel like this bastard uncle, like, deserves his cut. Uh, yeah. I feel I like so. he still yeah. deserves I th- it. I think so. I think you're right. Like, from OP's perspective, I probably would not say that. But from an outsider's perspective, I'm like, he is family and he was, like, cut Royally, out. bro. And, and like, just so think like, of it like, background. Like, that sucks. Yeah. 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 So... But yeah, that's a, that's a tricky situation for OP. I understand not wanting to give away like this house that I wouldn't do it if I was OP. But if I'm like a judge or something, I'm like give him give him something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Case closed.
My roommate stole all of my stuff, so I stole something worse. Her identity. I mean, that's a pretty that's a pretty uh, strong thing to steal, you know? Yeah, identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Back when I was in college, I had a roommate that I had met intro week over the summer. We had hit it off, decided it would be perfect, and it was, until it wasn't. Oh. Brought my TV from home, and my parents paid for cable for the room. If I came home and she was watching TV, I didn't mind. Then I just asked for the remote, and she'd tell me her show was on in three hours, and I couldn't use my own TV. Excuse me? Bruh, yeah, her parents got the TV. She can't use her own TV. Come out. Come on. Next, I had a storage bin full of snacks I'd buy when my mom would send me some money, just cereal, granola bar, you know, college crap. I'd go home for a weekend, and then she would eat everything. Everything. I'm talking literally every single food item in the bin, and then leave me with nothing. <laughs> well, like a popper in the wind. Wow. She wouldn't even tell me she had done it. i just find everything empty. And no, she never offered me money or replaced anything. I tried talking to her about it, but when that didn't work, I decided to get petty. Ooh. Petty revenge. We love it. She'd leave her ID everywhere, and I started taking it and hiding it so she would have to get a new one from the office. It cost $20 every time she had to replace it. I must have stolen at least $400 worth of her ID cards and she never realized. She just thought she kept dropping them. Oh my gosh. At the end of the year, when we moved out, I packed up and was out first. After I'd moved out all my boxes and cleaned up, she left to go somewhere and I left all of her misplaced ID cards on the desk on her side of the room. Dude, that's like, that's like your Joker card. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, ah, I've done the deed. I have done the crime. Now you see it. Now you see it.